Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chenson Pascual, and this is K-Check! the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Our first contestant is Jordi, a chemical engineering student from Technological Institute of the Philippines who likes to mix not only chemicals, but also alcoholic beverages. Our second contestant is Harold, an English studies literature major who has a knack for sleeping in the middle of poring over his readings. Our third contestant is Mine, a graduating college student at New Era University taking Bachelor of Science in Psychology who feeds her passion for music by accepting gigs. Our fourth contestant is Nicole, a fourth-year civil engineering student at the National University. She loves coffee and is very competitive. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman History Department. And Professor Rui Daroy Morales, Professor of Law at the UP College of Law. And now, contestant, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Jordi, who is the wife of the late mayor and secretary Jesse Robredo. Jenny Robredo. K-Check, Harold. In science, what is the common force that attracts an object body downwards or towards the center of the Earth? Gravity. H. Mine. In what continent can you find Norway? Europe. Europe. K. Check. Nicole. Who is the husband of the former Lisa Araneta? Mr. Bongbong Marcos. K. Check. Jordi. In science, what do you call an animal that preys on? and consumes other animals? Carnivores. Malay. Harold, in what continent can you find Saudi Arabia? Asia. Asia. Mine, which president is the father of Congresswoman Gloria Arroyo? Correct answer is Diosdado Makapagal. Nicole, in astronomy, what is the most massive planet in the solar system? Crete. Jupiter. Jordi, in what continent can you find Morocco? Russia. Malay. Africa. Harold, which president is the father of Senator Jose Victor Ejercito? Um. Answer is Joseph Estrada. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. Mine, in science, what general term refers to a piece of metal that attracts other metals like iron? Magnet. One more time. Magnet. Okay, check. Nicole, in what continent can you find Cambodia? Asia. K okay, check. And that's it for our first round, the K check Paramian round. Gusto ko yung mga tanong this time, no? Gusto kong bumiyahe doon sa mga lugar na nabanggit. Hmm. Countries, continents, tsaka mga life and so, names so, of oh, oh. past presidents. Oo, oh, kaya dapat talaga well-read kay eh. Kasi hindi mo alam kung ano yung tatanong sa'yo, di ba? Oh. So dyan nag-focus ngayong round na to. Ano kaya sa susunod na round? Check. Ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan round? Next here on... K-Check! K-Check! Karunungan check. Ano na nga ba ang puntos ng ating mga contestants? Si Harold may 20 points, 
Si Mai may 20 points, Nicole 20 points, at si Jordi 10 points. Very good sila kanina. No? Oo, oh, mm. diba? Kasi isipin mo, itong mga mag-aaral natin na to, bukod sa pag-aaral na yan, ay nag-join pa sila ng mga ganito Correct. competition. Yes, diba? sabihin, holistic ang kanilang oh, growth. Oo, oh, no? oh, oh, naman. Prof. Neil, holistic ba ang growth mo ng kabataan mo? Sobra. Okay. <laughs> Dahil nurturing but firm yung aking mga parents. So, mm. so dapat expose sa iba't ibang bagay. Okay. Ang tanong ko para kay Nicole, Nicole, civil engineering student ka ng National University. Yes po, sir. Okay. Um, may kilala ka bang pinaka-prominenting alumnos ng NU na nagtapos rin ng civil engineering? Ng NU po? Yeah. Presidente ng Pilipinas. Nagtapos ng civil engineering mula sa National University. Wala well, po. <laughs> Nagulat siya sa tanong. Okay. <laughs> Actually po, kakalipat ko lang po ng NU this year. <laughs> Kaya hindi pa po ako nakakapasok. Si Fidel nakapasok Valdez na. Ramos ay nagtapos ng civil engineering mula sa National University. Baka nakalimutan. Kadalasan kasi na ang attachment or ang meaning na binibigay sa NU ngayon, SM, di ba? Apo. Dahil yung SM ang may-ari ng National University. Pero bago yan, sobrang sikat na alumnos ng National University si President Fidel Valdez Ramos. So, good luck. Uh, baka maging West Pointer ka rin, maging Defense Secretary, at ikaw ang uh, lalaban sa mga kudeta tulad ng ginawa ni Fidel Valdez Ramos. Okay, at magiging Presidente ng Pilipinas. Wow. Thank you, Nico. Salamat, Prof. Manifest, manifest, Nico. Makumenta lang ako kay George. Ikaw ay Chemical Engineering. Yes. Pero nabanggit kayo na sa introduction mo na ikaw mahilig mag-mix na drink. No? Yes. Uh, ano yung pinakamasarap na minix mo na drink sa buhay? Um, for, can I say alcohol po? Um, kasi po nag-mix po kami sa school ng ethanol and water which is main ingredients po ng alcohol. And yun po yung tinatry po din po namin na um, beverages for now. Ah, okay. Ano naman ang lasa nito? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. <clears throat> pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. <music> Which city situated 1,400 meters above sea level is the capital of Nepal? The correct answer is Kathmandu. Aided by the haunting vocals of Justin Vernon of Bon Iver, which female singer recorded the 2020 single, Exile? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Jordi? Taylor Swift. Okay, check. What musical device that precisely measures tempo, marks time at a selected rate by giving a regular tick? The correct answer is metronome. In Islam, what do you call the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia? The correct answer is Hajj. What movie icon won a Best Actor award for his role in The African Queen and starred in the films Casablanca and The Maltese Falcon? The correct answer is Humphrey Bogart. What superpower does Superman possess that allows him to look through walls and other objects? The correct answer is X-ray vision. Next question. What is the name of the small blue creatures created by Peyo, who live in mushroom-shaped houses in the forest. 
Smart. Carol. Smart. Your ass. Kate. Which Hungarian American magician was noted for his sensational escape acts early in the 20th century? Harold. Houdini. Harry Houdini. Kate. What ocean covers 20% of Earth's surface and is known to separate the old world from the new world? Harold. Atlant Atlantic Ocean. Kate. What is the second largest city in Spain in terms of population? Harold. Barcelona. Kate. Over the Rainbow is a classic song that is part of the soundtrack of what 1939 film remade in 2013 starring James Franco. The correct answer, The Wizard of Oz. Which southeastern state in the USA has a name that means Land of Flowers in Spanish. The correct answer is Florida. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Rounds. Mag points recap muna tayo. Nauna, Harold na may 100 points. Kasunod si Jordi na may 30 points. At si Namayn at Nicole ay may 20 points each, no? Nagkaalaman na ng konti kung sino yung mm -hmm. mabilis sa round na yun. Oo, oh, pero pwedeng-pwede pang humabo, mm -hmm. lalo na sa susunod na round. Okay. Diba? Prof. Marian, sino yung hahabulin mo sa mga susunod na round? <laughs> Ahabulin ko, mapahabulin ko. Nice. Kailangan i-psyched up si Mine. Okay? At saka si Nicole. Pero si, si, si Mine ay nag-aaral ng BS Psychology. You know? Graduating. So, anong, bakit mo nagustuhan ng psychology? May mga kaibigan po kasi ako dati na hindi ko sila maintindihan kung bakit ganun yung i-asta nila. Then later on, nung nag po ako ng psychology, ah, meron po pala silang naranasan nung childhood nila and mas lalo ko po silang maintindihan. Oo, oh, maganda. Lalo ngayon, ang daming may pinagdadaanan, di ba? Oh, so, kailangan talaga ang mas maraming pang psych. Pero meron ka rin gustong ginagawa, music. Oh, At may nagigigs ka na. Opo. Oh, Tumutugtog pa ako sa mga uh, restaurants po, ganun. Naglalive gig po kami. Uh, acoustic guitar po yung hawak ko. Kumakanta ka din? Ikaw din yung kumakanta? May mga dalawang kanta pong pinapakanta sa akin kapag dyan yun ako. Anong favorite? Anong kinakanta mo ng dalawa? Uh, pag OPM po. Ah, dalawa lang songs ang kinakaral ano mo? Ano po kasi yun? Parang five songs per set, um, may 15 songs po kami, akin pa yung dalawa. Ah, sa'yo yung dalawa. So, good luck sa singing career mo din, ha? Okay. At sana makasample ka ng kanta next time. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Mario. And Prof. Rowe, may questions ka ba sa ating mga contestants? Na-intrigue ako sa natutulo. <laughs> Hello po. <bro. laughs> um, kasi relate ako. <laughs> relate ako. Nakakatulog ako sa gitna ng Pinabasa ko. Pero yun ang dahilan kung bakit yata ako naging abogado. Oh. Dahil by osmosis yan. Oh. Alam nyo, kasi ang um, conscious natin is yung akala natin, binabasa natin. Pero actually, mas mabilis pa tayo maka... maka, maka hindi lang scan eh. We can actually read as many pages as we want to. Kaya lang we are consciously trying to concentrate a few pumapasok lahat yan. It's like uh, pag natutulog at may music, tignan mo, pag umaga, alam mo na yung lyrics. Okay. May malalagad ka ba sa mga kaalaman na meron si Prof. Rowe tukot sa pagtulog at saka sa pagbabasa? Yes, bro. Actually, natutulog po ako talaga kapag ka inaantuklog po, kapag ka nagbabasa kasi it relaxes my prefrontal cortex po, uh, which allows me to uh, further um, and um, invigorate in the readings that I am pouring over. So, as, uh, as long as I feel that I need to sleep, I sleep. So, in order for me to be more efficient in my readings and in my studies here in UK. Wow. <laughs> my theoretical frame, Raksha. This time, <laughs> our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check!
Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Harold with 100 points, followed by Jordi, 30 points, mine and Nicole, both 20 points. Pwedeng pwede pa kumabol ulit, no? Oo, kaya nga excited na ako sa round 3 para magkaalaman na. Correct. Oo. Okay. We'll find out kung sino sa kanila ang pinakamagaling sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ng kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors na ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Prof. Marian, question number one, please. Easy muna. What device tells the time of the day by the apparent position of the sun in the sky? Harold? Sundial. Okay, this device has also been used. Eh, hindi alam siyo na kaimbento, pero ito ay ginamit ng maraming ancient civilizations like the Babylonians, Greeks, Egyptians. The correct answer is sundial. Okay, check. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Which two countries in ASEAN use one five-pointed star in the center of their national flags? Una, hindi, fam hindi ba familiar ang mga tao sa ASEAN? Kung familiar man, ang tamang sagot ay Myanmar at Vietnam. Ah, okay. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Rowe. Who is that artist? Ayan. Born in 1452. Okay. In Europe, who was a painter, sculptor, architect, and engineer. Harold. Da Vinci. Okay, check. Okay, thank you, Prof. <laughs> Prof. Marian. Nabitin ako doon. <laughs> okay. What do you call the measure of the ratio of output force to input force in a system? Like in simple machines like levers and pulleys. So, the correct answer is mechanical advantage. Prof. Neil. Next question. Which branch of psychology covers psychological principles to workplace issues? Mine? Industrial psychology. Okay, ang tamang sagot industrial organizational psychology pero i-consider ko yung sagot mo okay check thank you prof rowi next question right what is the protection in law against copying creative work of another person harold copyright uh, yes i think i will admit that but uh, it's actually uh, intellectual property okay. law. Okay. And um, copyright law is just one aspect of intellectual property. Okay. Say, yes, that's right. Okay. So, shall I? Okay. Thank you, Prof. Rowe. Prof. Marian. Okay. What is the branch of astronomy that deals with the study of the universe? Okay, dati akala ko ito ay study ng pagme-makeup, cosmetics. Okay, this involves the origin and evolution of the universe. According to NASA, it's the stud scientific study of the large-scale properties of the universe as a whole. It's called cosmology. Thank you. Prof. Neil. The Golden Boot is an award for the leading 
goal scorer in league matches from the top division of a European national league who has the most Golden Boot Awards with six. Harold? Britain? Hinahanap na sagot ay tao. Oh. Oh, okay, so ang tamang sagot at hindi rin siya galing sa United Kingdom, hindi siya Europeo, siya ay galing sa South America. Ang tamang sagot ay si Lionel Messi. Thank you. From Rowie. Right. Where does the blue dye used in, in painting come from? Harold. Snails. I'm. Um, no, I'm talking about the place where. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, it's called Delft, yeah. and it's found in Holland. That's okay. where you see those blue. Um, yung mga nakikita natin sa pottery and the ceramics it's found in the soil mm. in the Netherlands or in mm. Holland Thank you, Prof. Rowie Prof. Marian so, Ito, ano na, pang kalahata The great scholars and thinkers of the Renaissance period also the Enlightenment period um, like the Vinci, the Renaissance excelled at several fields in science technology, engineering, mathematics, and the arts. What do you call an individual whose knowledge spans a substantial number of subjects known to be able to apply complex bodies of knowledge to solve specific problems? So, ito yung merong formal name for mga Lodi na sila na alam na nilang lahat. Ito yung mga polymath. Prof. Neil. Huling tanong mula sa akin. Um, which refers to a process through which a political regime becomes democratic as exemplified through the granting of basic freedoms and civil liberties and the broadening of popular participation in governance and in elections. Harold? Democracy? Mali? So, ang hinahanap na sagot ay proseso, right. hindi yung ideolohiya. So, yung proseso, ang tamang sagot ay democratization. So, trivia sa kasaysayan, yung 1986 EDSA 1, People Power Revolution, nagbigay na inspiration sa isang bansa na kilalang kilala natin ngayon, yan ang South Korea. So, nagdemocratize sila dahil na-inspire sila sa EDSA 1, People Power Revolution. Maraming salamat. Prof. Roy, last question. All right. Papunta natin dito, tayong lahat dumaan tayo sa isang structured structure called the Carillion Tower. Sino nag-design yan? Cole. Uh, Fernando Omerson. Mali. Ang answer po ay si Juan Napili sa Pusyang National Archives. It's called the Carillion Tower because it holds the Carillion Bells. And the Carillion Bells are actually made in Holland, but um, the structure itself is designed no, by a Filipino, Juan Napili, a national artist. Thank you, Professor Rowe. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Harold, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 145 points. We'll see Harold again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Jordi, Mine, and Nicole for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, 
Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Rowie. This is Chanson Pasqual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.